Abd al-Rahman says, we are told to compete in righteousness, but does not that go against ikhlas, sincerity? Should you be doing things for Allah's sake only and not for surpassing others in show off? How do we reconcile? Well, there's a very thin line, Abu Abdul Rahman. There's a very thin line between competing with others plus showing off and sincerity. If you know that what you're doing is for the sake of Allah and you're competing not to win, but rather to reach Allah first and to please Allah first and you're not showing off so that people would praise you, then there's no contradiction. Umar ibn Khattab once said to himself, today I will surpass Abu Bakr in charity because every time he comes first. So today I'm going to do something for the sake of Allah, see, not for the sake of competing, but rather for the sake of Allah Azza wa Jal. So he went to the Prophet والسلام, and he presented the Prophet with some wealth. So the Prophet والسلام, prayed for him. May Allah bless your health and wealth. What did you leave for your family? So Umar said, exactly equal to it. Meaning I brought to you, O Prophet of Allah, 50% of my entire wealth. So the Prophet accepted it. Umar sat. After a while, Abu Bakr came with a bundle of wealth and he put it in front of the Prophet and said, this is for Allah and his messenger. So the Prophet prayed for him as well and asked, O oh, Abu Bakr, what did you leave for your family? And Abu Bakr said, I left for them Allah and his messenger, sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Meaning that this is 100%. This is my entire wealth. I'm giving it all for the sake of Allah. When Umar saw this, he said, by Allah, I'll never compete with you, Abu Bakr, again. It's not feasible. I can't catch up with you. So these two were not competing to show off. Definitely. They were among the most sincere of Allah's servants. But they were doing what they're doing for the sake of Allah alone. And if they saw others exceeding them, they would compete with them to please Allah, not to surpass them or to overtake them for the sake of a race or a competition, but rather for the sake of reaching Allah Azza wa Jal first. So there's no uh, uh, problem. Now, when would there be a problem? This is when you do what you do just to show people that, listen, I did this, I did that, like Ibn al Jawzi, and, and I've said this so many times, wrote in his beautiful book, Sayyid al Khatar that I went into a masjid in Al-Kufa, in Iraq, with a friend of mine before the Adhan of Fajr. And we saw a man praying night prayer, tahajjud, next to a candle, to a lantern, whatever. So I said to my friend, look at his prayer. MashaAllah, how beautiful it is. And apparently the man heard me. So he wrapped up his prayer and came to us and said, and if you like my prayer, what would you say if you knew that I've been fasting for the past 20 years? Ibn Joseph says, look at this fool. For, show, for the sake of showing off, he erased all the good deeds that he had done for 20 years because he did it 
to impress people not for the sake of Allah Azza wa So if you know that you're competing so that people would say you're the best in reciting the Quran or in fasting voluntary fasts or in prayers and not for the sake of Allah, you should refrain. But if not, and you know that this guy memorizes the whole Quran and you only memorize 25 juz, so you compete internally so that you would reach 30 juz and be like him, this is a, a, a positive thing to do and Allah Azza wa knows best.